a little Sagittarius, and welcome back to my channel, T to the Y to the M to the A R A. All right, today we want to see what's going on in your energy. You're already prayed and meditated. I started filming this reading, but then I had an alarm go off in the background, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just start it over. I didn't reshuffle the cards, but I did stop the video just to restart it because I had to go turn that alarm off. But anyway, I hope y'all are having a good day. Let's see what energy is coming towards you. Um, when we first started reading Sagittarius, the first energy that came out here for you or the topic of this reading, we have a secret admirer that's coming out as well as your third eye being open. So when I started reading, I see you had the devil card come out in the reverse. This is the energy of you releasing yourself from like toxic energies or anything that's just not serving you. Releasing yourself from bondage, from toxic behaviors. There also could have been a struggle here where somebody, I kept feeling an energy of somebody like releasing or no longer smoking, like having a nicotine patch or something. Maybe you had broke an old addiction. This could have been to smoking. This could have been having an addiction to being around toxicity or drama or trauma or something. Maybe something in your bone just does not resonate with this anymore. For some of you, this could be food. Maybe you don't eat the certain certain type of foods that you used to eat in the past. I feel like you're just strongly in this energy of releasing a whole bunch of toxic behaviors or toxic energies. Let's see what else is coming out. What else? Is Sagittarius releasing at this time? Please clarify the devil. This is giving me a relationship. I feel like we have commitment offer coming out here. So you're no longer just accepting anybody's word or whatever someone has to tell you. Like they have to show you more than they can tell you. Because with the five of swords coming out here, you dealt with somebody being um bullying you or dealt with somebody being either bullying you or you dealing with a lot of conflict between individuals or fighting with people fighting in a relationship i feel like you're no longer in this space of being in a in a confused state of mind i say you want to be in a relationship where someone truly has unconditional love for you, not conditional, it's not based off of something happening because somebody sees you as a certain type of person or they have these expectations on you. Yeah, the devil card could also be like somebody feeling like they've been controlled in their relationship. They're being controlled by a past person, this person who claims to have unconditional love for you. Now, you could have had genuine love for this person. This could be this air sign. We have an air sign coming out as well as a um uh I hear a Leo. This could be another Sagittarius, or this could be an Earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You generally had love for someone, but this person seemed to like want to win at all costs. They were kind of bullying in this relationship. Somebody tried to take advantage of another person. And so I see you release yourself from this situation. You release yourself from this commitment to this person. And while you were in this relationship with the Ace of Wands coming out, I see you were in this energy of like feeling stuck. You felt bound. You could have wanted to get out of relationship dynamic with this person because they were a bully. They were controlling. I'm getting like a controlling relationship. You could have wanted to get out of this relationship, um, get out of this, but you couldn't really take for You couldn't take any action. Why couldn't Sagittarius take action? I feel like um, this person could have kept coming back and showing you like, hey, I'm a changed person. Uh, yeah, I feel like they kept trying to almost feel like manipulation again. Like this person kept showing you, hey, I'm a, cha I'm a changed person and I'm going to do something different. So you will wait around and you will stay. You was hesitant on leaving because someone would show you that they changed or they would try something new or either maybe they was telling you sweet nothings or saying something to you. Showing you love or something. What else? Give me more on this Ace of Wands in the reverse. But as time went on, you realized that this was a forbidden love. This is somebody you really should not have been with. 
somebody was depleting your energy with the temperance coming out in reverse. This is you feeling unbalanced, not really feeling worthy of love or not really receiving the love that you need. Your cup is being emptied out. I feel like somebody was depleting your energy. You started realizing that this seemed more of a karmic relationship than, an than a relationship that you genuinely cared about. It almost came off as you loving somebody more than they actually loved you or what they was putting forth. And you was putting more into the relationship than them, especially with the Six of Pentacles coming out here. This is you feeding somebody, giving somebody your all, kind of giving back. You could have known this person for a while. What else is going on? Unconditional love. Okay. I almost, it almost feels like I almost feel like that you had a relationship with a somebody like swooped in and saved the day is what's coming out with the secret admirer coming out here. I almost feel like somebody want to put money into your pocket or do something for you, saying like, "I promise, I could take care of you." I feel like you went through such a um a toxic relationship in the past and you truly loved this person. You gave your all. You truly cared about this person, but this person did something. And it's like you felt stuck in this relationship like you couldn't leave, but you know that this relationship was forbidden. Like it should not have gone as far as it did. I almost feel like while you are going to work, there's a person who truly likes you or admires you or care about you because you are still like you want to walk away from your relationship. You're trying to release this relationship that you're currently in, but at the same time, you feel stuck. And so maybe while you're at work and you're having a bad day, somebody is like offering you something or trying to give you something to cheer you up. This could be bringing you flowers or this person just wants you to feel balanced or trying to make you feel better. And it seems like this person is very charitable. What is it called? Chivalry, charitable, or generous. That's what I want to say. This person is giving a generous type energy. Maybe you're at work and you're talking to your coworker and you're venting about what's going on at home because you want to walk away from somebody or you want to leave somebody is what I'm getting. And here go this person coming up and offering you something. Like, hey, uh, rather flowers or lunch, bringing you a coffee or something. I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, this earth sign is going to come and bring you something on the day that you're having a, a bad time and you're feeling thrown off. Maybe your hair not done or maybe whatever, male or female. Somebody just at your job can tell that you feel that you're not your usual upbeat self because of whatever you're going on at home. So with the Secret Admirer coming out, I feel like, It seems like this person is going to want to take you out with the three of cups and it's going to make you feel better. You could be going out on a, a lunch date or something like with co-workers, like a potluck or lunch date or something that happens where the co-workers go hang out is what I'm saying. And during that time, you realize that what you have going on at home is too much for you to carry, too much for you to bear. It's stressing you out. You're on your last leg. You are fed up with your own home situation. You start to realize that you'll be better off by yourself or that there is more better opportunities out there. I feel like because of the whoever this is that's coming and offering you something or blessing you with something or making you feel better is it's helping you to see that what you have at home is not what you need. It's not commitment. It's not love because you see other people who truly are happy who has the love that they need. This could be your girlfriends. This could be your guy friends. Whatever it is that I feel like that you are seeing with the third eye open that you're seeing in other people's relationships. You realize that 
Something seems unbalanced in your own household and you're carrying too much of the weight and it should not be like this. This is naturally not how a relationship should be. What else is going on here? Give me more of this temperance. Give me more of this temperance and six of pentacles energy. Look, come together. Spiritual union, soul contract, come together. Somebody is saying like, you give me a chance. I promise you, I'll take care of you. I'll pay for this. I'll do this. I'll do that. You don't have to deal with that at home. You already fed up and you tired. I heard you venting to your coworker. I heard you saying, saying this and saying that. This person wants you. Rather, this is a coworker or let me see who this is. This is my People Essentials deck. If you want to order it, it's on my website. Or it's coming, but mine is coming in the mail. So I got, my, I had my little paper version of it. But let me. Wow, I know y'all saw that. It's your coworker. Oh, do you see that? It is your coworker. Eleven, eleven just passed, and you could be seeing angel number four, four, four. Wow, come together, your coworker. Thank you, spirit. Look, I don't need to look at no more. Somebody wants you. Your coworker wants you. They want to date you, and they're like offering you something. It's almost giving the energy of like, um, what you call it? Work husband, work wife, or something. Somebody bringing you lunch, bringing you flowers. They here anytime you like are. Basically, what does this person look like they're doing? They look like they're struggling. So this you sitting here talking to your coworker, and here with this person coming in like a knight in shining ar armor, offering you something. Brother, love, advice, support, whatever they're doing, they're making you feel balanced again. So they could be bringing you lunch or just giving you a compliment or something. And so you think about like being with this person or trying something new or that you're really... Wondering, like, there is love and support around there. There is other people. There is more fish in the sea is what I'm getting. And what I'm realizing is that at home, this is too much. I've been dealing with this for years, 10 years, 10 months, or whatever this is that's going on in your house. You feel stagnant. You feel out of balance with the ace of wands in the reverse. You kind of hesitant on leaving because this is the person you know. Maybe they was your first. Or this is who you've been with for the longest time, but it's a forbidden love. It's a tragedy. Like, there isn't much growth going on here. But whoever this co-worker at your job is forcing you to open your eyes. Give me more of this three of cups and the ten of wands. Spare you just doing it today. What did we say? You feeling... Ten of Wands, feeling stressed out, locked down, mental prison, confined, feeling restricted. Somebody like you feel like somebody's controlling you. They playing with your mind, playing with your heart. You're not receiving the love and support that you need. Your emotions are all over the place, and you realize this is not this is not what you want. It's a mental prison. Somebody's questioning their relationship, and then your eyes are open. All right, Nine of Pentacles. This. Give me more this nine of pentacles. Yep. Who do we have at the bottom of the deck? Realization. Realization and trash. Realization and trash. You realize you want to throw somebody out. Something's coming to the light. Discarding, throwing out. Somebody, like, you sitting here realizing I could be happy all by myself. Tyler Perry, I could do bad all by myself. I just saw Taraji P. Henson or something. One of the movies. And I keep hearing a baby face song play right now. Um, as soon as I get home from work, I preach it. It's one of those songs where it say, it almost reminds me of Joe, what your man won't do, I'll do it all for you or something, where somebody would do something like, if they, if you just give me a chance, like somebody's speaking and saying like, you're a good woman or you're a good man. If you just give me the opportunity, give me the chance, I promise you I love on you. I'll put money in your pocket, food on us. Like we'll, we'll have the world together. You'll have a look abundance here. 
where you just flourish and elevating and growing and you could truly just be yourself and be in your element. Somebody's like promising they'll take care of you if you gave them a chance. And look, there's a little birdie here. So I feel like this little birdie is speaking sweet. Nothing's in your ear when you're at work. Or you sitting there contemplating, you thinking about it. You look, it's yellow around there. Like you see yourself being happier without somebody. You see the joy somewhere else. So you like really realizing this, ready to throw somebody out or get rid of somebody, break up with somebody, cut it off. Okay. So. So. What is serving Sagittarius at this point? What's serving Sagittarius? What's serving you is the fact that we have balance at the bottom of the deck and conflict coming out in reverse. What's serving you is the fact that you want balance in your life. You're just trying to juggle, find harmony in your life in the middle of chaos, but you realize that you have conflict going on. And this conflict, you know that this conflict is coming from your person. That's what you realize. Conflict is in the reverse. You realize this conflict coming from your person. And what's serving you is that you acknowledge that you don't have balance in your life. And it's conflict here. And you realize that this relationship is at jeopardy. It's at stake. Like, you're ready to risk it all. You're done. You're fed up. You've been dealing with this person. You gave them unconditional love. But they continue, like, they have a lot of toxic behaviors, rather. You could have found this person. They could have had uh, receipts. You could have found something in their phone. They could have cheated. Or either they're abusive mentally, physically, or something. Or they have some type of addictions or something that's going on. Or you realize that you're stuck in, you're kind of in this situation. And you also see that there's no passion here. Passion coming out of reverse. There's no pa passion here. And that you have endure endured a lot in this relationship. So, what would be the suggestion for Sagittarius? What's the ultimate suggestion for Sagittarius? Communication. What else? Clarify this communication. What are we communicating about? The chariot. You could be dealing with something with a cancer. What are we communicating about in reference to this? Because the chariot is like being determined. Like this is you doing something. You're determined to make a change, but you're talking. Clarify the chariot. Ace of Swords and Page of Wands. So. And look, the tower. Somebody life going to be shaken up. So. You about ready to let your person know that you ready for something different. When we going to sit down and talk about this, uh, either I'm going to move out, you're going to move out, or this is not going to work. With the Ace of Swords, this is let me know. This is you speaking your truth. So you're determined to communicate or speak your truth or let this person know how you feel, what your thought process is, and that you have a page of wine. You are like, you ready to progress forward. You, may, you ready to move on. You're going to let this person know, like, you're leaving. The outcome is you telling this cancer sign or this water sign <coughs> or this air sign that you're leading. And you're going to speak your truth about how you've been feeling and what's going on. Of course, with the tower card, they're not going to take it easily. They're going to feel like their world been shooken upside down. They see that this partnership is ending, two of cups in the reverse. There's no love. They're going to feel blindsided. They didn't see it coming. And this person is going to try to offer you something. They're going to try to persuade something, offer their heart, offer their love. They're going to try to offer something. But you feel like this is their justice. This is their karma. This is what it was meant to come. This is the justice. This is meant to play out this way. It was a long time coming. I almost feel like you just needed, you just needed a little bit of strength for somebody to get inside your ear. You just, like... Justice in the reverse is like dealing with unfair treatment. You just feel like you just haven't been treated fairly for a long time. 
because this is something rapidly happening. But now it's like this person has been treating you unfairly for a while, constantly doing things, and you're ready to choose to start. You have hope for a new future. You want something new. So you're ready to move forward. That's what's going on. So what lesson is Sagittarius meant to learn? <laughs> the way they be throwing these cards out here. It's always cute. Relationship. Prioritize and nurture meaningful connections. Invest time in building and maintaining relationships that bring you joy, support, and understanding. So if you feel like you don't have joy, support, and understanding in this relationship, don't prioritize it. Prioritize the ones that you feel like nurtures your spirit, that helps you to grow, that helps you to elevate. And what else is going on here for Sagittarius? They didn't see it coming at all. Somebody, I just heard somebody saying like they didn't think you were confident enough to do this. Because you did something for so long, they didn't think you like actually had the courage or the strength to move forward, to, to move on or leave them. We also have betrayal is this. You're learning the life layer, layer, the life lesson of betrayal. It says people you trust may betray you. Learn to discern who is truly loyal and who isn't. So you're learning a lesson about betrayal and learning that it exists and that people that you actually love and care about and you trust is going to betray you. So this is a person that you actually trusted. They betrayed you. You realize this is not the person. Your eyes are open. This is secret admirer and came in. He done revealed, this person done revealed how much they had care about you, take care of you. And you like, you started smiling like, you know what? Over here is looking way better than what I got at home. This is looking way better. Okay. And then you have not everyone would like you. I surely just thought about that. Somebody is going to tell their parents, in-laws or something, they're going to be looking at you crazy and thinking you ran away or ran off with somebody when really that's not the case. It says not everyone will like you. Accept that you won't be everyone's cup of tea. Focus on authenticity rather than seeking universal approval. So, like, you don't care who's going to like you or not. Like, I just heard um, Chrisette Michelle, Blame It On Me. If you know that song, blame it on me. Say it's my fault. Say I lied and cheated. Say anything that you want. Just know that it's over. So, the fact that they playing that song, this person could have been doing something to you, your person, for a very long time. But they like to save face in front of everybody else. So, nobody knows what's going on behind closed doors. So, they're telling you, living your truth. It don't matter who won't like you because somebody could be saying, why are you walking away from so-and-so? They are a good father, a good this, or they are a good mother when you know what the truth is. So this person might not like you. You don't have to seek their validation. You don't need their approval to move on with your life. Your life is yours. What you had to pay your mind here. This is you going somewhere else. You're going somewhere else. After you speak your truth, you're leaving. Your throat chakra is open. It's been blocked long enough because I almost feel like I want to cough. <coughs> My throat is closed. Like, feeling blocked. That's why they tell you to communicate. You have two things that saying like, speak your truth and communicate. So you could be texting this person, writing them a letter. You're just expressing how you feel. You also could have been, um, you could have been it to this person at your job, your coworker, and let them know how you feel. And they could have gave you this advice with a coworker coming out here in communication. What's going on with Sagittarius money right now? What's going on with their money or their finances? What's going on? Money, finances. Look, they got that instruction paper again. Why I keep putting this back in here? Let me put that there. Okay. What's going on with their finances? Challenges. Difficulties or obstacles in managing finances. Bad investments. Need to conduct an honest assessment. So, I can understand it. There seems to be some debt here, overspending, or some poor budgeting. If you are about to have to move out and you're about to split, especially if you live together with somebody, and then you're going to have to take on all these payments and all these bills by yourself, it would be some challenges. And I feel like this could have been another reason why you were hesitant on leaving. Because you could have known for a long time that something was toxic or that it was a lot of conflict here. You didn't feel like yourself. Certain things seemed unhealthy. But sometimes people stay together because of financial reasons. So I feel like this could have been another thing that was stopping you from leaving. But you just got fed up. So it was obstacles here. 
Your finances are being affected by either some difficulties or some obstacles. And that's all right, because you, you will overcome it regardless. You want to overcome this? This too shall pass. So what can Sagittarius do at this moment to raise their vibration and heal? How can they raise their vibration? How can they heal? Thank you, Spirit. Practice the three good things exercise by reflecting on three positive experiences you had each day. So they want you to stay in a positive space. So reflect on three good things that happen that happens every single day, no matter what it is. That's going to help you weather the storms and keep on persevering. So today I woke up. Today I have breath in my body. Today I have my health. Tomorrow I'm thankful for my kids. I'm thankful for a working miracle. I'm thankful that I still have a job. Whatever it is, say your three good things and reflect on your day. What else can Sagittarius do? You gave me two more. Create a mantra or affirmation that resonates with you and repeat it daily for positive reinforcement. So they keep reiterating how much they want you to be positive. So create a mantra or an affirmation that will help you get through this. So, And they want you to say it every day to be positive. I'm going to... Let me see, an affirmation. I choose me, I choose happiness, I love myself, and I'm going to persevere. I'm going to keep going. I love myself, I'm going to persevere, I'm going to keep going. I am strong, I am worthy, I, I am worthy of love, I am worthy of generous people. Something like that. Just, you know, say something to yourself and keep repeating it. And lastly, enjoy some probiotics. Take some, I said, take vitamins and eat your fruits and vegetables. It's good for you. So you need to go eat your fruits and vegetables, take your probiotics. Maybe you've been feeling kind of weak or tired or something. You could be missing some magnesium, some vitamin D, some vitamin C, something. So, you know, take your probiotics, take your vitamins, eat your fruits and veggies. So it's good for you to lift your spirits as well. So this is another way how you can lift your spirits. So just all I have for you. If anything resonated, please leave me a message down below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.